Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears. On today's show, we have another look at spring sports and a commentary about the ethics of AI in creative work. I'm Olivia Black. And I'm Angel Flores. Today is Thursday, April 4th, and Good Morning John Burrow starts right now. Welcome back. Starting with senior news, if you want to leave your mark on graduation, tryouts for speeches are coming up. You must be clear to graduate to sign up. Head to the Class of 2024 Google Classroom for the link to sign up before April 22nd. Speaking of graduation, if you want to receive the Academic Excellence Pin, make sure to send proof of your college acceptance letters to Ms. Cascalon at mariacascalon at burbankusd.org as soon as possible. In other senior news, GCC will be holding their senior night today from 4 to 7.30. There will be food, workshops, resources, fairs, and so much more. See the GCC website for full details. Now in college and career news, Bret Hart Elementary is looking for volunteers to help with their spring fundraiser, Superhero Boot Camp, on April 12th from 3.30 to 9 p.m. Click the link on the online bulletin to sign up for any of the volunteer spots. This can be a good final service hour opportunity before the deadline on April 19th for seniors. There's also another volunteering opportunity happening soon. VSD is looking for multilingual volunteers to help out with the Welcome to Burbank Fair at JBHS on April 20th. Scan the QR code on screen to sign up. Now let's send it over to Brandon for a spring sports update. Good morning Bears, this is Brandon with your Thursday sports update. First off, boys volleyball is playing against Burbank at home today. JV and Frosch are at 4.30, while Varsity is at 6 after a 3-1 win against South Pasadena High on Tuesday. Track and field beats CV and Pasadena on Tuesday, and the Tiger Invitational will take place tomorrow at Arcadia after school for select Varsity track athletes. And finally today, softball beat Glendale 14-1 yesterday and are now 16-4 and, and second in Pacific League. Good luck to all of our teams competing today and tomorrow. I'm back to you. Thanks, Brandon. Switching over to on-campus news, future juniors and seniors. Applications to be an academic mentor are now open on your grade level Google Classroom. Being an academic mentor during a class period or during AE is a great opportunity to grow relationships with teachers and assist peers, and it looks great on college applications. The deadline to apply is April 26th. There's a field trip to Noman School of Visual Effects College on April 24th. Students will tour the campus, meet instructors, watch demos, and see a portfolio review. If you're interested in going, please contact Ms. Nakashima in room 6203 by tomorrow. ASB will be holding a blood drive on April 23rd. If you're 16 years or older, you can sign up to donate blood with any ASB member. You must bring a signed parental consent form to participate even if you are 18. The IMA Spring Concert Around the World is this Friday at 6.30 p.m. The show will feature diverse cultures and peoples from around the world, including a special accompaniment from Camberwell High School visiting from Australia. Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults. Be there or be flat. In club news, the Burbank Nuclear Weapon Abolitionist Club will meet in room 2310 today. JSA will be debating post-high school plans in room 2225 today. Architecture Club will be going on a special tour of the Holly Hawk House this Saturday. The field trip is open to all students and spots are filling up fast. Head to at JBHS Architecture Club on Instagram to sign up. Now speaking of debate, there's a lot of debate on how AI can be used in the creative fields or if it should be used at all. JMJB reporters Kiris Vobb, Mackenzie Monahan, and Francisco DeCio earned third place at STN Nationals for this commentary debating on the ethics of AI and art. Here's more. Artificial intelligence, also known as AI, is rising in popularity recently in creative fields. Wait a second. <sighs> That's better. Designers, artists, and editors are being asked to do more and more with less and less time. 
If used ethically, AI is a crucial tool to help save time and generate ideas for the future of creative work. Adobe just introduced many AI features that allows editors and artists to easily fix issues. Just now, I used the new enhanced speech tool in Premiere Pro to quickly fix audio issues in my script. Second, AI speeds up the workflow of creators and can help brainstorm ideas. While it's not okay to pass off any ideas as your own, tools like ChatGBT can help get those creative juices flowing. I have a film project about AI being used by a spy, but I'm stuck on a title. ChatGBT can help brainstorm ideas. Some people might argue that it should not be used at all. The AI is here to stay. There are definitely ethical questions around using AI to create work and pass it off as your own. So, educating young people on the ethics of using artificial intelligence is crucial. One solution to this is to embed proper AI usage in creative classes in middle school and high school. For Student Television Network, I'm Mackenzie Monahan reporting. Well, that's all from us today. Make sure to stop by the Teen Court fundraiser at the Kebab Shop today. We'll be back tomorrow with a bear recap and our first installment of Finance Fridays. I'm Angel Flores. And I'm Olivia Black. Have a great day, bears.